What would happen if two lone warriors of Aura went toe to toe in a fight to see who would come out on top? I'm Ink and this is Smash Bracket, a show dedicated to solving that exact question. If each playable character from the Super Smash Bros series was entered into a giant fighting tournament using them at the peak of their strength, who would be victorious? The rules for this series are on screen now, with a link for a further breakdown in the description below. With all that in place, let's take a look at today's match between Lucario and Ryu to see who will advance on to the next round and who will be disqualified. Let's get into it. Lucario! Trainers all across the world of Pokemon seek to become the strongest ever, the very best like no one ever was. And there are all kinds of Pokemon out there for trainers, but the Pokemon Lucario will only lend his trust to those who truly have justice in their hearts. Lucario comes from the Sinnoh region and stands at 3 feet 11 inches tall. He's surprisingly short, but that doesn't hold him back. Lucario's in tune with a special kind of energy that permeates the earth called Aura, which he detects with the black appendages on the back of his head. With this Aura, Lucario can sense things around himself and tap into several telepathic abilities. With this telepathy, he can understand human speech, detect thoughts, and tap into several powerful psychic moves, such as Psychic or Zen Headbutt. And this connection with the Aura can be enhanced even further through training, meditation, and a few moves to help balance his mind. Calm Mind, for example, can make Lucario tougher and stronger as he quiets his thoughts and calms his spirits. He can also drastically enhance his attack power with moves like Sword Dance or Work Up. His aura can also be channeled into some really powerful attacks, such as Shadow Ball, Aura Sphere, or his signature Bone Rush, with which Lucario summons his iconic Bone Staff and attacks his enemies. But it's when Lucario closes in close that his true power becomes obvious. See, unlike many other Pokemon on Smash Bracket, Lucario's strength doesn't originate from a wide pool of moves to pull from, or cartoon shenanigans that create unexplainable feats. Instead, he excels most at close-ranged combat, and Lucario is constantly working to hone this prowess even further. Most Lucario tend to be reserved and serious Pokemon, with an extreme loyalty to their trainers. This attitude makes them incredible training partners, and a serious force to be reckoned with at close range when under the guidance of a skilled trainer. Extreme speed lets Lucario blitz in when he sees an opening for a burst of fast melee attacks, but he can also use moves such as close combat or a variety of elemental punches to get the better of his opponent. By focusing his mind, Lucario can use moves like Detect or Foresight that allow him to briefly see the future and predict his opponent's movements in order to avoid their most powerful attacks. But should he still fall on the path of an attack, Lucario can use Protect or Substitute to avoid the damage. My favorite moveset options, though, are Me First and Copycat. Both of these moves allow Lucario to steal his opponent's own attack and hit them back with a version of his own. And all of these moves give Lucario the tools that he needs to deal with even the most skilled opponents in combat, and it opens up an effective strategy of keeping his distance while he raises his own stats and lowers those of his opponents until he's ready for a brutal strike. While Lucario is normally calm and focused in battle, we can change all of that with the item that he'll be holding for this battle, the Mega Stone Lucario Knight. This unlocks his most powerful form, Mega Lucario. While in this mega form, Lucario's power reaches an all-time high, but at the cost of relying almost entirely on his innate battle instincts. This risks Lucario losing control of his aura and causing him to slip into a berserker-like rage. And between this mega form and his base form, Lucario has pulled off some incredibly impressive feats of combat, such as when he was able to keep pace with Pikachu while moving at nearly 70 miles per hour. And he's also been able to show off similar speeds while fighting this Inke. Lucario can also quadruple his speed number with the assistance of moves like agility, causing his maximum speed to come in at 280 miles per hour in combat. On the flip side, he can also use moves to lower the speed of his opponents a similar amount. He's also powerful enough to create large explosions, send boulders flying, and destroy huge amounts of metal. His maximum strength seems to be here though, when he and his trainer work together to contain a massive explosion and redirect it to the sky, leaving both of them totally wiped out. And not only does he redirect this damage, but his body is also enduring much of this energy that the explosion was exerting in order to keep it stationary. While it's hard to measure how much of this was divvied up between the two individuals involved in this feat, it's clearly impressive and Lucario is clearly putting his all into it. Lucario has been the Pokemon of choice for some of the most famous trainers ever, and it's not hard to see why. Lucario's intelligence, dedication, and raw power make it the perfect partner to many, and a dangerous enemy for anyone bold enough to fight it. Now let's see how he compares to his opponent for today, Ryu. Gaming is home to some of the most boisterous personalities around. 
Whether it's Travis Touchdown and his wisecracking potty mouth, Ken Masters and his lighthearted but fiery personality, or the goose from Untitled Goose Game. There's no shortage of characters who don't hesitate to make themselves known wherever they go, but our fighter today is not one of those characters. Instead, he wanders silently around the world, seeking the training and mastery that comes with frequent battle. This wandering warrior goes by the name Ryu. As a young orphan, Ryu was taken in by his adoptive father, a man named Gokin. Gokin was stern and serious, but he still took care of Ryu and raised him alongside the young Ken Masters, who would grow up to become a world karate champion and also Ryu's best friend. Together, Ken and Ryu trained for decades to become incredible fighters together. And when their training was complete around the age of 23, they set off to compete in various martial arts tournaments around the world. Ryu started by competing in the World Warrior Tournament, where he fought through over 20 different practitioners of Muay Thai in order to fight the world's most gifted fighter at the time, Sagat, the Emperor of Muay Thai. The two fought fiercely, but in the end, Ryu was able to put down the champion with his signature Shoryuken uppercut that not only knocked out Sagat, but also split his chest open and nearly killed him. Ryu's not joking when he says about the cheesiest line I've ever heard him say, You must defeat my Shoryuken to stand a chance. But this chest-splitting Shoryuken isn't all that Ryu has up his sleeves. He also has a variety of punches, kicks, and throws that are all designed to whittle down his opponents. Potentially, none of these techniques, though, are more famous than his Hadouken. By focusing energy through his palms and thrusting his arms outward, Ryu can launch a powerful energy blast through the air. He has a variety of ways to manifest this move, such as the Ren Hudoken, which shoots five rapid fire blasts, the Baku Hudoken, which detonates with explosive force, or the massively powerful Shinku and Denjin Hudoken. All of these techniques gave Ryu the tools that he needed to defeat the world's strongest opponents. After his victory against Sagat, Ryu traveled across the world to find even stronger opponents to fight, and along the way he picked up a variety of fancy new moves, but the most dangerous of all of these was taught to him by the evil Akuma. This power corrupts the normally composed persona that Ryu has, leaving him as a murderous berserker, and although he's fought to contain the side of himself, letting it out truly can unleash massive power turning him into evil Ryu and making him strong enough to blast holes through the sides of buildings. He can also use the dangerous Shun Goku Satsu, which attacks both the body and soul of its target. It can even send Ryu's opponent straight to hell, literally. But Ryu's truest power comes when he's able to balance both the light and dark sides of himself, to find true balance and access the power of nothingness. While the Satui no Haru feeds on the dark desires of its user, the power of nothingness transcends this anger and is only usable by a person with a pure mind who's filled with compassion, mercy, and peace. Just like the Satui no Haru, it comes with a large burst in power, but without having all of the murdery intent as a side effect. Both with and without these forms, Ryu is one of the most impressive fighters in the world. He can move faster than the eye can see to attack his enemies, and in the manga, he's even dodged machine gun fire. He's powerful enough to punch holes through walls, lift a 36-ton boulder, and even punch his opponent through a small mountain. Where Ryu really shines, though, is his durability. He's been able to withstand being in close proximity to an island-sinking explosion, ignore being shot by bullets, and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Akuma, who's likely the strongest character in all of Street Fighter. Ryu has fought incredibly hard to become the best fighter and best person that he can be, and he'll continue to push to be the best no matter who is standing in his way. With all that said and done though, it's time for our fight. If you'd like to support Smash Bracket, get early access to content and works in progress, and help us keep the series alive, consider joining us on Patreon or our YouTube membership program. But with all of that out of the way, let's get to the fight and see who will advance on to the next round of the Smash Bracket and who will be disqualified. Let's get into it. Find our skill in battle, but talk is cheap. You must defeat my sure you can stand a chance. Behold the power of Aura. Three, two, Get one. It.
seeking an honorable opponent. Show me your true power. It's too late to turn back now. Behold the power of Satsui. Continue to fight. Game! And there you go! In all actuality, these fighters had a lot of similarities, but Ryu simply had Lucario beat in the areas that mattered most. While Lucario could rocket his maximum speed to nearly 300 miles per hour in the battlefield, Ryu has been able to dodge machine gun fire, reacting at over 1500 miles per hour. Lucario's move Scary Face could lower this to be about 375 miles per hour, which definitely evens the odds more, but ultimately, speed wasn't really the deciding factor in this fight. It also didn't really come down to durability or strength. In this scene, Ryu punches Oni through the large rock formation Ayers Rock. By accounting for the size and volume of the rock, and measuring the size of the hole created, we can find that Ryu's maximum power punch is coming in at the energy equivalent of around 33 tons of TNT. This is way more than Lucario has ever endured. Even if Lucario was to quadruple his defense and cut Ryu's attack by 4, Ryu would still only have to hit Lucario at max strength a single time, before Lucario could stack on all of his buffs and debuffs and then hit Ryu around 7 times. They also both had hidden power behind stronger forms that they could summon, but what this ultimately came down to was a battle of skill. Lucario was fighting an uphill battle against one of the most skilled fighters ever. He had to hit Ryu way more than Ryu could hit him. But because he just lacked the versatility that many other Pokemon have in their movesets, he didn't have what he needed to take out Ryu before Ryu could land a knockout blow. While both fighters had a lot of experience fighting, Ryu was just able to outclass and outmatch Lucario and get the win. Ryu is the winner and will be advancing on to the next round of the Smash Bracket. Next time on the Smash Bracket. Reninja versus Look out, Final Fantasy fanboys! Here's 